Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Avini Vibes. It's the place to be for sure. We're very excited about um, us joining together tonight as a family and a growing family at Avini Vibes. Today's February 8th, 2024. A couple of just few housekeeping things. If you wouldn't mind, mute your phones or mute your camera. And if you'd like to ask a question when we get to that portion, just go ahead and raise your hand. I uh, couldn't do this without uh, the help of all of you and Carol and Chip and just all of you, Kyle, everybody that's on this call is so important. Everybody plays an important role. So grateful for that. Um, just an update. My husband had the surgery today. Thank God he made it. We were at the hospital up 430, there at 530, um, had the surgery and uh, all they had to do is shave down the bone instead of taking out the metal, uh, the, the, uh, the, the implants. I said to the doc, how'd you do it? He said, I took a chisel, just like you're chiseling wood, Christine. And I was like, oh, but he did well. He's, uh, we're up, we got home, four hour drive back home and he's doing well and recovering. So thank you for your thoughts and your prayers on that. Okay, wow, we had an amazing week. We had the opportunity to have in New York, our first, we made some history, Annika and I made some history. And Amy, we had um, a very special guest, uh, our vice president, Doug Dickey, was with us for three days, two days, three days, but amazing, amazing. Um, I enjoyed it, learned so much. We had uh, so much energy there, but also so much education. And I think that's the thing that I took away is, you know, you're always learning something. You're always learning from somebody else. And I said to Doug, I would love to be able to have that slide presentation, but there's no way to duplicate that. But he's a different type of presenter than uh, our roles are. Our roles are just to share with our loved ones. And that's why we're here tonight. Share with the people that we care about. Share with the people that uh, are important to us. And today, when I was up at University State Ho uh, University uh, Hospital, uh, you know, a trauma center, and I was walking through the halls while I was waiting for Craig, I looked around at all the sick people. I looked around at all the people, and I thought to myself, "Goodness, each and every one of these people need these products. They need Cell Defender. They need the Nano Silver." The uh, nurse came in and asked him if he got the memo of scrubbing down his body two days before. And the two, Craig and I looked at each other and we said, no, we didn't get that memo. And she whispered to us and she said, well, it does make your skin really dry. So she walked in with a package and said, okay, here you go. Um, if you'd like to you know, scrub down with this and Craig just looked at her and I just looked at her and what do you think came to my mind? Nano silver. <laughs> so I was squirting nano silver on him for a couple of days prior to. So I knew that we had our battle bag with us. I knew that he was going to be in good hands with the preventative care. Preventative care is better than treatment. I think uh, Enika has that as her little tagline. So thank you for that. Enika, um, Enika is going to come on and speak to us in a couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> but I want to thank her personally for stepping up and being my my wing girl, because I couldn't have done it without her. She's a big helper. Thank you for doing that. You want to just share for a minute of, of your what happened for you the last yeah. couple of days, Doug? Oh, sh oh, sure. Thanks. Thanks, Christine. I mean, gosh, guys, uh, that was uh, an unexpected privilege uh, to be there. And, um, and when I say unexpected, I'm saying the energy that came from that little as Christine said, like a hole in the wall, kind of, but a very well-known um, little nook in, in our area with a great reputation of, of, of healing energy. But when Doug went, came in there and, and, and shared um, his presentation, we were all taken back. And um, it just, I keep saying to uh, Christine, it's the Avini juice. I mean, you just get pumped with this, this like juice, and then it's just, it's still going and uh, I'm excited for, for more. So yeah, just keep it going. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your help. And, you know, she was bold. Uh, she's going to tell her story in two weeks in more detail, but you know, she, uh, although she's new, she brought so many people a uh, great job of just saying, you know, come, come hear about this. And the, and the people came medical professionals, PTs walk through that door. So this is for everybody. There was no, uh, no she wasn't intimidated at all to share this uh, wonderful opportunity with her friends, family, and loved ones and her professional colleagues. So thank you. That's what it's about, right? We're all here to share with our colleagues. 
Um, tonight, we're going to do something just a little bit different. Tonight, we're going to watch two little videos, okay? So um, don't go anywhere. Don't put your, uh, you know, go off camera and disappear because these are powerful. These are powerful because I'm going to just ask you one or two questions. Do you know anyone that wrestles or struggles with their weight? Do you know anyone that has thought about taking their own life in the, in the mental health field? I'm sure all of us know at least one of those categories, possibly both of those categories. So I want you to just really uh, pay attention and listen, Carol, if you don't mind. Okay. We're hear a very amazing uh, story from a man named Mike. All right, here we go. All right, Mike's going to join us tonight. <clears throat> Thank you, Carol. All right. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> I was heavy as a kid, but I wasn't like morbidly super obese until about age five. And then pretty much my entire childhood, every meds they would put me on would keep packing on the pounds as a bad reaction to it. I actually came to Ohio with the intention of killing myself with my food addiction because I had lost everything. My dad was dead. My childhood home was gone. I found my dog who I've had for 12 years has cancer and we had to put her down. I mean, I'm losing everything one after another. And then I ended up with a ministry that ended up saving my life. And I'm starting to uh, build a career as a writer. And so about two years into me rebuilding myself, Cindy tells me about your organization. I was on the fence about it at first because I had a lot of products that were new and groundbreaking that just didn't work for me. They were placebo at best. And I figured, you know what? What, what do I have to lose when trying it? So I tried the Vidi Fiber Plus stuff first and honestly, the only way I can describe it when I first took it was it was like somebody took my entire digestive system and hit restart. I could feel everything coming back in a balance. By the way, max weight at this time was 618 pounds. I like was getting to the point where I could not physically do my job. And I held out as long as I could while doing the Avini stuff, I had a twisted artery in my leg that was about to burst at any time. And this guy's a great doctor, but he's as blunt as an atom bomb. He basically said, son, I'm gonna be level with you. In six months, if you keep working, you're gonna be in a wheelchair. You keep working within a year, your mother's gonna be burying you. Because there's no way that you continue to stand for eight hours a day and successfully get that leg to heal. So I started doing the trim science with the fiber stuff and it's ended up helping me from Thanksgiving of last year to now losing a grand total of 215 pounds. So I am living proof that these products work. Have you taken Cell Defender also? Yes, I do take Cell Defender. Uh, also, another thing is working at a place where I stand for eight hours a day, I would have major feet pain, right? Mm -hmm. I know the nano silver was meant for Keeley infections, but when we sprayed on my feet and my feet would stop hurting instantly. Wow. I mean like instant relief of my pain. And this would be, this would be the level of pain where I'm not sleeping at night. Like I'm up all night because of the pain. I still struggle with the temptations and stuff, but now that I'm 215 pounds down, that I have a greater desire to succeed. Because me, five years ago, you told me I would have lost 215 pounds. I'm like, that's completely unfathomable. There's no way. But it just happens that my body tends to like evading health products a lot. My nurse practitioner that I see has told me, all that stands between me and of officially conquering my obesity is 95 pounds. If I reach the 300 mark, that I can say I'm officially beating my obesity and that I can start working on to rebuild my body up to strength. Wow. And how old are you? 
I uh, just turned 30 this year. I've always been one of those people that if you're going to do something, give it 100 or 10% or don't do it at all. Because otherwise, what was the point of you doing it? So that's why I went all in with this experiment. That's and I made awesome. sure my medical team and doctors ran on it to make sure like they thought everything was safe and everybody gave you the green light. They said, it's all natural products. There's no reason this should hurt you. Yeah. Also, I, was, I suffer from diverticulitis. So I know any chance I can get to prevent another episode like that, because I was at Metro Health in Cleveland for a week with a severe gut infection. You take all of the products now? All of them except the Plus Relief. But my mom loves that stuff. She has neuropathy, and she looked at me when after I sprayed on her hands, and she went, Michael, for the first time since I've had cancer, my hands don't hurt anymore. So it actually relieves her pain. So what would you tell somebody who is just hearing about Avini? What would be well, your recommendation? Well, my three things I would tell them. One, you don't know it's going to work for you unless you actually try it. Two, you got to have officially decided to be done with your food addiction. And three, the key to losing weight is love yourself that you want to change, but also love yourself enough to hold yourself accountable when you fall short because you're going to fall short. There's going to come a day when I don't have to go to a store like Destination XL or King Size that you just go buy clothes off the rack. Hmm. That is going to be yeah. unreal for me. I'm staring at the finish line, looking at finally beating my obesity. And considering I came to Ohio with the intention of dying from my food addiction, that's a pretty good outlook. Wow. Powerful, yes? Wow. Amazing, amazing. And uh, I don't know, Chip, if you would uh, jump in a minute. Um, you know, one of the gals in the audience, we had watched this video. I'd watched this video and I had someone, uh, how does that work? Should I take the fiber? So he was speaking about what he was doing with the trim science. Can you just speak a little bit about the trim science, Chip? Well, I was, uh, if you've been watching, I've been swallowing some as we've been talking. And so um, it's a very interesting product. There's two places in the product line that we have adaptogens and nootropins. And when you swallow those, you get within minutes, better mental and physical acuity and agility. So whatever you're doing, if it's thinking or doing something um, physical, both of those things will give you a an interesting lift and a useful lift. And we kind of look at it as, you know, ideal body confirmation. Um, you know, that uh, what, what Michael was uh, telling about Maniti, that's, you know, way on one end of the spectrum, but you would, you would do the very same thing if you were wanting to, um, you know, gain mass to be ideal. And that's the thing I love about the products um, you, you move towards the ideal version of yourself, regardless of where you start. And you I mentioned the, you know, his favorite sounded like was plus fiber. For a normal person, one of the incredible and dependable benefits of plus fiber is the next time you go in and have your blood work checked, and this always happens, you're going to have spectacular numbers. So your A1C, your blood sugar, your blood lipids, your cholesterol, everything they look, they're looking for will be remarkable. And I just like to say, um, more fun to go to the doctor when you're showing off than when you're scared to death. And you can imagine how scared he would be going to the doctors and what they would be telling him. Like he said, the doctor was pretty blunt. And, you know, give the guy some credit for courage to stand. I don't know what he was doing for eight hours that he stood. If you're standing up at 600 pounds for eight hours, I mean, just that is, is you know, that's more than any of us are doing, I'm telling you. So there's some something about that guy, and it kind of, kind of came through in his voice, and it'll be interesting to see. But what he said about his life being in danger, you'd be surprised how many of the people that you're talking to and they, they won't reveal it to you until afterwards, but they'll come to you in tears. And this is pretty normal for me at this point and say, you know, thank God we found you because I was on my way out and I was going to rush it. And I think we have another one of those stories queued up. 
I know her really well too. And that's, okay, yeah. I, mean, I hate to say it, but that's pretty common. It's you know, that, the trouble in the humans, Christine. There's trouble in the humans, Carol. There is. I know. You know, with this guy, Mike, what was uh, after we watched the video and we had more uh, clarity about what was going on with the products was the fact that with the Trim Science chip, he was talking about how um, the, the genes were actually, the switches were, were you know, reversed, where a, instead of us packing on that fat and that storage, we were able to, because this fellow, Mike, actually was gaining muscle. He lost weight, but he was gaining muscle mass. And he wasn't exercising. That's what's amazing. So, you know, we had more discussion about how the trim science was helping him do that with, um, you know, flipping those switches of the obesogen. So just amazing man. And I can't wait to hear the rest of his story. Yeah, he, he had a couple of interesting things that he said, a little twist of words. He said um, the other things he had tried, the best, latest and greatest were a placebo at best. So maybe made you worse, right? So you thought you were going to get help and then you didn't, so you revert. I thought that was interesting. And and he said the plus fiber, he thought, gave him a digestive restart or reset. And the the thing that I think he tapped into, the power that he tapped into there, when you begin to get better in anything, I mean, if you sponsor somebody in your Vini business, all of a sudden you get encouraged and you say, oh, maybe I can do this. And then, then you become hungry for it. And then you think, you know, maybe I could do it even better. And that, you know, one success leads to another, to another, to another. And so the, you know, the very first thing that goes right becomes precious. And that's for us, uh, both health-wise and business-wise. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Chip. All right. So now we're going to turn to Stephanie Cook. And Stephanie, very also a very, very powerful testimonial. Um, Chip's gonna. Chip said he knows her personally, so I'm sure he'll have something there. Carol, you want to go ahead and add that clip? Um, like what she did. Just watch what she did uh, as a smart young woman. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay. We're well, good. One thing that I have not shared with too many people, but I've shared with my friend, I have dealt with I dealt with suicidal issues and thoughts since I was 12. And it was a constant thing. And, you know, something that my counselor once said to me, she's like, I told her, I said, you know, isn't this normal? And she's like, no, people don't have those normal thoughts. Those aren't normal thoughts. And like, I've just dealt with them since I was 12 years old. And I just, and it had a really low moment in February and in March, it just so happened that things fell into place and we went to the Las Vegas summit and learned about, my husband and I learned about, you know, more of the products. I had been using the Plus Relief and I have a great story there, but I'm not going to share that today. But uh, we learned about the other products. And so we went home, we did blood work. And then we started taking them. And within just a couple of weeks, my suicidal thoughts that I had dealt with, with for 30 something years were gone. And it has been life changing. And I was talking to a friend and she was telling me that she had, you know, someone that she knew that was also dealing with that. And, you know, she needed this product. And I'm like, well, wait, let me make sure which one it is that's doing it. And so I systematically removed myself from different products to figure out what was going on because I was seeking all of them. And, and I learned, you know, by doing that, which ones were doing what they were for me. And for the minute product takes away my suicidal thought. And I have shared that with multiple people and handed them to multiple people and had them receive the exact same result through, you know, through that. And, and so that's one of those things that for me, that has been life changing. 
because that's something that I have dealt with for 30 something years on a daily basis and I no longer deal with. And then it has, like I said, it's been, it's been life changing. So I, I do the other products. I have stories for each one of them that I learned which ones cause which thing that, but that one, that one has been the most life changing for me personally. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Um, we had a couple Spanish guests, so we decided to do that in Spanish tonight so they could at least hear that. So thank you for that. Um, hope you all were able to hear that. How that was powerful too, right? I love the fact, Chip, that she um you know took used the products, but she wanted to identify which product and why. Why? Do you want to add to that? gutsy move on her part to try to narrow down to exactly which product was doing it because she backed off of everything and then came back one at a time until she got the thoughts gone again but apparently if you go 30 years with those kind of thoughts beginning when you're 12 years old maybe you know maybe i i you know i was astonished when she tells that part of the story who would ever want to go back there for any reason i mean to find out exactly which product i, I might have just said oh it's all the avini products but interesting thing that happened as a result of that um her narrowing it down to the immunity went into doug's mind that was just with you guys speaking with you, you out there in, in new york and he reached out to another guy that i've been in touch with frequently i always take his call as quick as i can because i know he's lost his dad that way, lost his brother that way, mm -hmm. lost his grandfather that way. And he wanted to go that way. And Doug, you know, knew about it, gave him a call and told him Stephanie's story about his immunity. And I got one of the first calls when he said, and you know, if you can imagine this, he said, I've gone an entire week without a thought of killing myself. I thought a week. And this is an adult male. I've gone a week and I thought, wow. And he was so tickled, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I thought, okay, now you follow that back. Doug listened. Stephanie told the story. Stephanie found out. And I, I had met Stephanie um, in Nashville and she was waiting for a car to get a ride to go get a car and then head up the East Coast. So I knew her a little bit. She was single. And then when they went to that Las Vegas event, you know, I didn't know she was on a downswing, but she had just married um, Dr. Cook. So now it's Stephanie Cook. And she comes up and I'm all happy for them and congratulating them and all these things. Didn't know this part of the story even then. Her dad never knew. Her dad never knew until it was over that, that she was okay again, that she'd been feeling like that. I know her dad, I know her brother. Hmm. Anyway, um, her husband is is a physician, a quiet guy, but I think he was maybe standoffish and kind of came to feel out what Avini was, and and she got me and got him off to the side, and I had a chance to tell him what we were up to, you know that we're up to something good here, and explained you know how some of it functions and how foundational it is, and apparently. Uh, that and being around the other people at the event, uh, he he became an enthusiast as well. And so here you see Stephanie being, you know, this wonderful new version of Stephanie. So uh, great to have her step up and tell that story, but hadn't revealed it to, you know, even her, her dad. And uh, so um, and the, her dad and brother are, are involved, you know, in Avini and now she's off and growing off and growing what a story you know and there's a lot more to it than just that but we found that immunity um any kind of endocrine or hormonal um, dysfunction is pretty likely to level out uh, with immunity in the game and of course each of those medicinal mushrooms makes its own antibiotics uh, they make all kinds of short medium and long chain um, polysaccharides that all have beneficial effects they're one of the 
you know, the number one and two things against people that are growing tumors in the company are Cell Defender, Z Immunity, and number three, now that we have Avini Nanospherical Silver, is Nano. Uh, have you ever wondered about why a PET scan works for somebody that's growing tumors? Positron emission tomography. They inject radioactive sugar into your veins, and what eats it? The bad cells eat it. Guess what? Their mitochondria don't work right, so they're dependent on fermentation. Have you ever wondered about why you go acid and why they, why sugar is such a big deal? And you can, you know, not eating sugars is powerful as any product with that. And then you tie in something like nano. What do you have to have to ferment something? What's a moonshiner need? Right? They need sugar and, and bad bacteria. And so here we come with nano, wipe out the bad bacteria. And if you also stop eating sugar, boom, you know, double whammy against that part of their problem. And, and so the, the products, I love so many different mechanisms and all of them good for you. If you wanted to be, you know, if Stephanie came and said, I'm going to be in the Olympics next summer. What do I do? Same thing, exact same thing. Just keep doing what you're doing and you'll get to the ultimate version of yourself. Hmm. Thank you, Chip. Thank you for sharing. Does anyone uh, want to ask any questions or have a comment? Raise your hand if you would or unmute. All right. Um, we're we're going to keep tonight short um, just because, because why? Because we are. <laughs> and, we're and Kyle, thank you. Is Kyle going to come and share? Kyle's going to come and share too, but I want to, before we do that, that I want you all to know um, that next week we have another uh, speaker. We're going to focus on some of the business strategies next week and next week's call. Priscilla is supposed to come back, um, waiting to confirm that. And then the following week we have um, author Suzanne Maroney is going to join us back. She um, will be presenting. And then uh, the following week we'll have uh, Enika will share um, her story and bring her knowledge and experience as well. So thank you for being here, Kyle. Do you want to jump in? And we've got some exciting news. And and we were privileged too because when we were all in that corp, was everybody give me a thumbs up if you were on that corporate call the other night? Yeah, of that was pretty powerful, right? So yes. um, so we were sitting across from Doug in the room with our vice president, and I was like, "How cool is this?" That was kind of fun. He was on the other side of the table and everyone else left. Enika and I, we stayed back, Enika and I, and we got an opportunity to um, see all some, well, there were so many people on the call, which was amazing, but they made some great announcements. So if you missed it, Kyle's going to uh, share a little bit about, about this. And I really sincerely hope you'll come to uh, Las Vegas. Come well, hopefully this helps everybody to come to Las Vegas, right? Yeah, this is going to help. So, yeah, no excuses. It's, no excuses that, here, that, right, Eddie? It, exactly, exactly. It, it was funny. It was uh, probably two weeks ago, uh, myself and Doug and the marketing team and Neil, we were on a call and Neil says, well, I'd like to do a contest for, for the upcoming summit. He's like, we'll just do the same thing. And Doug and I both looked at each other. We said, no, like we jumped in. We're like, no, not the same contest. And uh, Neil's like, okay, well, what are you guys thinking? And and uh, Doug and I sat down and, and we were both immediately on the same wavelength of what we wanted to do. And, you know, ultimately it's how do we get more people to summit, you know, and let's help people, at, you know, get to summit and then enjoy their stay for free. Like that was the whole goal. Let's get you, let's get you to Vegas for free. And then let's make sure that your room is free. And, and it just took a little bit of a, figuring out some numbers and how do we make it work that's that's very obtainable for everybody and that's what we sat down to do let's just create an easy goal that everybody can understand it's not complicated and uh we'll run this as our contest and neil goes well i don't know i don't know if this is going to work so guys here's what i'm telling you we got we got to show him that this is going to work because listen all it's doing, all we're doing is building our businesses. This is just an incentive to go out and build our businesses. But ultimately, here's what I want you guys to pay attention to in this whole thing. One of the key driving factors of this entire contest is creating leadership. You are incentivized for helping your personally enrolled advance. That's You, you could get your entire trip to Vegas, your hotel, your airfare for you, for your, you and your spouse, 
taken care of just by helping other people that you've personally enrolled succeed in this business. It's creating leadership. And that's one of the most important things about this contest that I hope all of you see. So let's talk about it real quick. Um, were you going to pull something the up, slides? I mean, it's up to slide? you. You can put it up if people want to read it, but I'll just walk you guys through the basics anyway. It's not like yeah, I'm following the slide. So, be good. so Carol, the, the summit contest, uh, I'll walk you through the rules and guidelines kind of first, right? Just so you guys understand. The qualification period is from February 6th a couple of days ago till March 31st, close a business, right? So February 6th to March 31st, there's really only two rules. One is you have to have an active auto ship of a hundred points during the qualification period in order to win. So you can't just go, oh my gosh, I got a bunch of points on March 30th and then sign up for an auto ship. You have to be on an auto ship if you want your points to count during this qualification period, a minimum auto ship of hundred points. And the second thing is you have to be registered for the summit, right? <laughs> you can't decide last second and say, well, I got enough points. I'm going to register. And there's reasons for all of that. So you have to be registered for summit, right? During the qualification period. And you have to have an auto ship of hundred uh, of hundred points, a minimum auto ship. So it's the only time we can ever tell you, you have to have an auto ship. That's it's part of the deal. So those are the rules, right? Pretty simple. Let's talk about the three ways that you can earn points. You can earn points for personally enrolling new distributors, right? Everybody say that personally enrolling new, personally distributors. Enroll new distributors. Perfect. The second way is by helping your personally enrolled distributors advance, right? So we're going to help other people, right? Everybody say that. Help other people. Help other people. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate your participation. I think everybody else is muted. You <laughs> I know, I'm, just, mute. <laughs> I'm, just I'm watching people's mouths. Uh, and the third way is personally advancing. So personal advancement. Everybody say that. Personal advancement. Personal advancement. So personal enrollment, helping your personally sponsored advance, and then your personal advancement. So let's talk about it. We have three different activation packs, a $299, a $499, and a $799. If you enroll somebody new, I enroll Ed today, Ed Kowalski, you're getting started today, buddy, on a $299 activation pack, I will receive two points, two points. If I enrolled Ed today on a $499, I will receive three points me, right? I'm sponsoring Ed. Ed. Ed is getting enrolled by me, right? So I'll earn three points. Now, if Ed decided I want to get started on a $7.99, I'll earn four points. Follow me? So you want to keep track of this. If I sign, you know, Ed gets started with me today, I'm going to say, oh, he got started on a $2.99 pack. I'm going to write it down. And we even gave you a chart to start writing this stuff down in the description that came in your email. So check your email. So that's two points, three points, or four points. Let's move to the most important piece, the creating leadership piece, right? Helping the personally enrolled advance. So Ed, get started. Okay, here we go. Just pay attention and I'm not going to lose you. I'm not going to get too in depth. I just want you to understand. If I help Ed advance one level, I receive one point. And I'll explain this in a second. If I help Ed advance one rank, I will receive two points just for helping Ed. So what is a level? A level would be, let's give an example here. Ed is a silver apprentice and he becomes a silver director. That's one level. Silver director to silver executive, one level. Silver executive to gold apprentice is one rank. So if Ed went from silver apprentice to silver director, that's one point for me for helping him go there. But the cool thing is, is remember there's personal advancement. So Ed's going to get points too. But as soon as Ed became a new rank, there's two points involved. So if you're paying attention here, I just signed up Ed today, right? He's brand new. And let's just say tomorrow he does a little bit of work and he advances to to silver apprentice. Well, he went from distributor to silver apprentice. That's a rank. That's two points. I follow me. That's two points. That's a rank. And then all of a sudden he goes from apprentice to director. There's another point. Then he goes from silver director to silver executive. There's another point. And Ed's really fired up. And all of a sudden he goes gold apprentice. There's two more points. 
So you, do you see how the points accumulate? Does everybody smile and nod? Very simple, ones and twos. Now, here's the thing. If you're a Sapphire apprentice and above, the points change. So the points I just gave you, one and two, one for one level, two for a rank, that's from distributor to Sapphire apprentice. So you can go all the way up with those numbers I just gave you. But let's take a real life example, right? Ed's not a silver uh, apprentice. He's a silver executive. So for silver apprentices and above, doesn't matter, right? Rubies, emeralds, diamonds, white diamonds. If they advance one level, they receive two points or one rank, they receive four points. So here's a scenario. Ed goes from Sapphire executive and becomes a Ruby apprentice. Guess what? He just earned four points. Follow me? Smile and nod. Everybody get it? Okay. So that's how that process works. But if I'm the enroller and I enrolled Ed and I'm helping him go through these ranks, these are the points that I am receiving for helping my personally enrolled. So let's go to the third way you earn points, which is personally advancing. So everything I just talked about, you can copy that right over to Ed since he's the one moving up the ranks. Ed gets started. He becomes, right, he goes from uh, distributor to silver apprentice. Guess what? He receives two points. He ranked up. Then he goes from silver apprentice to silver director. He receives a point. And then all of a sudden he becomes a, he becomes a gold, right? Gold apprentice, two points. Gold director, one more point. Gold executive, one more point. Oh, boom. He hits Sapphire apprentice. Well, now he just got another rank, so two more points. Then the points change again, just like previously in example two. You get two points and four points for ranking up from Sapphire Apprentice and beyond. So from Sapphire Apprentice, every level is two points. Every rank is four points. So I promise it's extremely simple. It's extremely simple. It's very, very, very basic math. If you have any questions or you get concerns or you get confused, just call. We'll, we'll help you, I promise. But it's very, very simple if you just pay attention and help people go win. Now, okay, let's talk about the points. What do you get? Okay, so if you accumulate eight points in this qualification period, right, from February 6th to March 31st, eight points. At the convention, at our summit, you'll you'll receive like the, the new fancy Nike Avini polo, which isn't out yet. So you'll get one of those and you'll receive the new mug, which I, I think we showed pictures. Well, we did show pictures of it on the, uh, the call the other night. So you'll get the new Nike polo and the mug. Now let's talk about the, the more fun stuff, the stuff that's more fun. <laughs> 10 points, 10 points. Avini is going to cover your room for two days in Vegas. 10 points. Guys, think about that. That's wow. five enrollments of two ninety nine packs. So if I had five people join me on a two ninety nine pack, my, my hotel room is paid for. Super cool. Now let's really bump it up. 30 points, three zero. 30 points. Not only is your hotel room paid for and you got a, a nice fancy Nike polo and a coffee cup, but your airfare is played for up to 500 bucks, $500. In most places around this country, you can get to Vegas and back for less than 500 bucks. So that's for one person, 30 points, your hotel room, you get the, 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 the polo and the cup and your airfare is covered. Bump it up again, 50 points, all of the above, but now it's airfare for you and your spouse. 50 points. Guys, if you really start to think about it, 50 points isn't very much. You help a few people get started and go from a distributor to gold executive and it's done. Just a couple people. <laughs> it's not very, very, uh, very much that is required to do that. We just have to help people. So 50 points, hotel rooms covered and your airfare for two, right? Up to $500 a person for the airfare. So Guys, it's, it's amazing. Then we, we're doing one other thing on top of this, that the people with the most points, the top three point earners, right? And you know, some people are going to go far above and beyond 50 points. So the three people with the most points get everything I said, 
right? The polo, the mug, the airfare for a couple and the hotel room. And then they're also going to have a super, super, super fancy dinner, like really fancy dinner Saturday with all, corporate, of course, the white diamonds. Uh, there's going to be an award. There's going to be recognition in the uh, Vini uh, uh, Advantage newsletter. Like, I, I, guys, it's going to be huge. There's just a lot more stuff, and I'm not going to spill the beans on some of it uh, for the top three point holders. But here's the thing, guys. Again, this whole contest circulates around getting you to Summit, right? Helping you not have an expense while you're there, obviously, by getting your room paid for in your hotel uh, or your room and hotel is the same thing, your airfare, but helping other people succeed. That's really what this whole thing is about, creating leadership. So again, any questions, any concerns? Feel free so to let me tell you where if um, I was hoping we would have the slide up, but I see that we don't uh, have it, but I can tell you where to find it. You received an email on February right. 7th at 6.52 p.m. That's when it came out. And it says in the little uh, top, the, it says 2024 Summit Challenges Rules and Submission Forms. So that's where you can see it right in your email. So go to your yep. email and look through this. All the what Kyle just shared, it's right there for you. OK. Awesome. 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 Yeah. And please don't hesitate to ask questions. All of that. Reach out. We will help you through this process. We just want to get as many people as we can there. And if we can eliminate the reasons people can't go, that's what we're going to do. And you know what? We're all here to build a business and share a beanie with everybody. So let's go do that and then get everybody there. You know, Neil, his ultimate goal is to have 700 people at our summit. But I mean, honestly, like we could make that number a lot larger if we all get to work a little bit more <laughs> right and help some more people and if we just do that we could take that number i think through the roof so we should make it a goal to uh to, to make that happen so anyway there you go i know we wanted to keep the call a little shorter love you guys and uh amazing call tonight as always like they are it's the best place to be on a thursday night <laughs> all right Kyle, well, thanks so much. And I hope you all will be back next week and you all will go do uh, pull up that email. Again, it's in your email. Grab it, read it, look at it. And let's go uh, lock arms with other people and help them get there. You know, they always say givers gain. If you help others achieve their goals, you're going to meet yours. So this company is a blessing. We're very blessed to have it. Um, you know, I believe that before um, I had the opportunity the last few days, I really did when Eddie told me just because he told me I needed to do this, I did. But um, my belief level actually just went so much more just knowing that, that um, the commitment from Neil, from Chip, from Doug, from the people that are there, they, they care about you and we care about you. So we'll see you all next week and uh, let's get busy. All right, God bless. Quick Bye shout everybody. out to Jim Carroll. Thank you for joining us tonight, Jim. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. And pick the 49ers in the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, I'll Amen. see some of you in Amen. a few minutes. <laughs> awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.